in 2016, I got a letter from Michelle Obama, and she just told me how my initiative Girls Do Code was amazing. She just told me that to keep working harder and that I'm an inspiration to all. My name is Samaya Mehta, I'm 10 years old, and I love to code. I created Coder Bunnies and Coder Minds. Coder Bunnies is the most comprehensive coding board game ever, and Coder Minds is a coding-based artificial intelligence board game. I was six years old when I first started coding, and I was about six and a half, maybe seven years old, when um, I first got the idea of Coder Bunnies. So Coder Bunnies, it will basically teach you all the concepts you ever need in computer programming. There's like the very basic concepts like sequencing and conditionals to more advanced concepts like loops, functions, stack, queue, lists, parallelism, inheritance, and many others. And I would say that Coder Bunnies teaches code in a fun farmyard adventure. You basically do actions and you use your cards or code cards to help your bunny eat its colored carrot and then reach the destination. So there's um, different ways of teaching various concepts. Once they're really excited about the game, then they actually learn coding without even knowing it. I am really passionate about coding. I want the kids to be the same way because coding is the future and coding is what the world will depend on in the next 10 to 15 years. So um, if kids learn to code now, that when they grow up, they can think of coding maybe as a career option. I actually got introduced to code, uh, to artificial intelligence because of my dad. He actually works in the artificial intelligence field. So Coder Minds teaches um, many major artificial intelligence concepts, five in particular, and it also teaches a few coding concepts as well. And it particularly teaches uh, Java programming, which is one of the major coding concepts. So I started selling the game. It was first available on my website, and it was actually started, it was stored right here in my garage. Um, and we used to pack every order we got. And when it started building up and we started getting more orders, we were not able to fulfill that many. So we were seeing if we could get it on Amazon. And luckily within almost just the first year, we got it on Amazon. My family is very much involved in my business. Uh, my mom, my dad, my brother, we all have positions in the company. So right now with that money is kind of going back into fulfilling more orders and making more color bunnies boxes. But I'm also um, saving a little bit of the money for my college education. And I'm also using it a little bit to give back, particularly I started working with a few organizations that help the homeless and so I'm starting to give back to them too. So I've done workshops at uh, places like Google, Microsoft, I've done it at Intel. So when I went to Google for Take Your Child to Work Day, I did two back-to-back -back workshops at Google headquarters and then I got to meet the chief cultural officer of Google. She inspired me to work harder and it was just a great moment in my life. So Girls Who Code is an initiative I started that basically teaches underprivileged girls how to code, or just girls overall how to code. And I do that by doing workshops at various places, but I do majorly girls only workshops and that kind of bring girls together and teach them how to code so that when they grow up, they can think of coding as a career option. And my goal is to just bring girls back into this field where there's a big gender gap. I want to inspire more girls to get into the coding, computer science, and technology fields. My dream job is being an entrepreneur, and I would say I already have it now because I am an entrepreneur, but I want to expand on that and I want to become an entrepreneur that helps people and does good for the community.